So late last week, DJI released a new firmware that had a bunch of interesting things mentioned in the release notes. Among these release notes were added the ability to put custom on-screen display things like GPS speed, location, distance, which is great for long-range people. Um, there's on-screen flashing prompts for when the goggles or something are weak. There's things like the display operation of the AV in interface. But one of the most interesting things is added the ability to view HDMI live broadcast by connecting the goggles to the DJI smart controller version, blah, 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 blah or above by connecting the goggles to the DJI smart controller using USB-C cable. Users can see the camera view of the air unit on screen of the smart controller and then transmit the live view from the smart controller to other display devices through an HDMI cable. So that's a feature that we've been actually really wanting from the air unit because these are such great devices for um, filming, but when you're on set working with the director, you can't always hand them a set of goggles. Like they want to be able to take that HDMI input, pipe it into their system, which usually is called Video Village, and then they want that feed to be transmitted somewhere else. Not only that, but with the ability to transmit HDMI feed from this, we have the ability to do some interesting live streaming things where now we have full digital HDMI um, uh, 720p broadcast grade um, live streaming capability from any drone that's hooked up to the DJI goggles. So if you think about like the... Uh, Beverly Hills Aerials flying their drones live at the Daytona 500 this year. Um, they had to, you know, basically get, you know, a, a really expensive um, HD broadcast system, hook it up to like a GoPro 4, and then broadcast that back to one thing. So now you can do it all in body. And that's what's really exciting about the new update. However, in order to use that, you needed a DJI smart controller. Now, the smart controller while it is a pretty cool piece of technology, is quite expensive. This whole unit is 750 bucks, which kind of sucks for those that aren't using Mavics or Phantoms or anything like that on a regular basis. But this is what you need to be able to connect to your goggles. So with the new update, which just came out today for these this controller, um, you needed version 0.7, um, and that wasn't released at the same time as the update for the Air unit was released. Um, but now I've got everything updated, and I'll show you how to set it up. So I'm going to set this aside. Then I've got this uh, squirt, these goggles, and this controller all up to date with the latest version of the air unit software. You go ahead and plug in the goggles and I'm going to go ahead and plug in the drone. <clears throat> so now as soon as this turns on here, you'll see that it's connected to the drone. And if I take this USB a cable, plug it into the smart controller, I wasn't incapable of doing that. And I take the USB-C end and plug it into the goggles. There's a new app, basically, that's installed with the latest version of the firmware called FPV Live. You tap that, and it's going to take the connection from the goggles into the smart controller, and you'll be able to see what the drone sees right there. So now, already, we have an HDMI output or so we have all of the video piping through into the dji smart controller so we can see what the drone sees you can see my setup here there's me i haven't showered today great um all that stuff so that's a great start but what's cool about the smart controller is that on the top here in these ports there's a full-size hdmi out so i can take that con connection and run it into for example my tv but i can also run it into just about anything that will accept an hdmi input um, and that would include things like OBS, um, <clears throat> which is a broadcast software for live streaming. So I can like live stream flights in full uh, HD 60 FPS from my computer, or I can pipe it into Video Village for a director, or I can um, you know do anything like that. What I've done actually with my setup is because I don't want to be tethered to my smart controller at all times through my goggles necessarily i mean it's it's an option but it's not preferred to me i've actually got my second set of goggles that i have for ride-alongs so that uh, other people can watch and see what the goggle sees give me just a second here to plug it all in is now even with the these goggles running on spectator mode i can still plug them in 
to the goggles. Once I set them up in audience mode, I can also tap over to FPV Live. And now there's a wireless connection between these goggles and this drone. So this drone and these goggles here are what's actually connected. And there's still a wireless broadcast back to the air unit. So you know, I'm, I'm stepping away so you can see that I don't have the cables plugged in, but this is the one that's actually made the connection. So it's a bit cumbersome, and I'm really kind of disappointed that the, Scott, the air unit can't just directly wirelessly connect to the air unit, the smart controller. Um, but you know what? It's incremental steps, and I'm excited to see that there's at least some way for us to do this because it opens up a lot of really interesting possibilities. Okay, so I've got the smart controller plugged in to my goggles via USB right there. And then I have the, the smart controller plugged into the TV via HDMI, which runs all the way back to there. There's the TV, showing the same thing. Pretty cool. Drone is there and it's plugged in. So if we go into our apps and click FPV Live, instantly on the screen pops up DJI Digital FPV System. And voila, a connection between the DJI goggles and the TV. Here's you. And there's the TV. Let's walk around. So in theory, this will get the same amount of range as the goggle connection will. So, you know, you can just do whatever you want. So, hey puppy. But yeah, it's pretty freaking insane that we can finally push this this video out via HDMI to uh, be able to do whatever we want with it. So whether that's hook it up to a TV, do a live stream, all that stuff, I'm really excited about the possibilities. So one of the things that I end up getting the most excited about with this is that I can now take the feed from the quad, run it through the goggles, into the smart controller, through this HDMI cable, into this Elgato Cam Link 4K, which is an HDMI capture card, into USB, and now my computer receives that drone as a webcam. So I have the ability to stream in 4K, well, well, I guess like a 1080p, 720p, uh, this footage from the quad live. So I can actually just fly here at my house, just cruise around, and you can see exactly what the drone is seeing in, in that resolution. So I think that's pretty phenomenal. So, you know, if you haven't already, be sure to go follow me on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash nerkfpv because I'll be doing some live stream flying from the DJI Air unit all the way through into the computer, which would be pretty cool. Um, and uh, But yeah, so this is, again, one of the things that I'm most excited about with it is because I can finally take advantage of the awesome picture that we're getting out of the, the DJI unit. So pretty freaking cool. How about we go for a quick fly and you can kind of see the, I'll record this is if I was streaming it and I'll just have a camera set up and we'll get some footage. It'd be super cool. Okay. So everything that you're seeing right now is recorded straight through OBS. Um, I am not uh, like mixing anything or pulling any footage off of this, off the drone or anything like that. Um, so everything you're seeing is as if I was doing a live stream right now, which I'm definitely not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and re. Oh, I got to plug in my goggles. Duh. Okay, so I'm plugging in my goggles here. I found a, a little USB extension, so I got a little bit more wiggle room. I'm plugging the goggles into the controller now, booting the FPV Live. Drone's already plugged in, so as soon as it makes that connection, boom. I don't know what if uh, that's its final um, speed frame rate. I don't know why. It kind of seems like it's a little bit jumpy, but we'll figure that out. 
So I'm going to go set this outside and we'll go for a quick fly. Alright, so we've got the drone outside. Kick back. Bring this all up in here. Look at this FPV live streaming right here. Here we go. Try not to bother my wife too much. So like we could set up a little track, maybe do like some sort of DJI micro FPV racing sort of stuff. I'm going to hover this for a second. Still going? Oh, it's still going. That's so cool. The, the, the penetration and the range of the DJI stuff is just so good. Like you just don't have to worry about video going out or anything like that. So like I want to hook this all up to my laptop and uh be able to do it like from the field you know like at a practice day or whatever obviously i can do this with analog too but it's just so cool to be able to do it with uh the dji system as well with the full hd Oop. i think i saw a dog there there's another one coming <laughs> yeah see him <laughs> he is not happy he can't be out chasing that I don't think she knows I'm filming. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Uh, which is my turtle mode switch there? There we go. <laughs> I think I got a little gust of wind there. I should have opened some windows. We could have flown inside and outside. I'm so glad that tree is finally blooming. But, like, imagine the, the live potentials for this, for, like, you know, like a car drifting event or, like, during some sort of sports game or, like, a Tour de France, something like that, like, where you're, you know, able to mix the FPV footage in to the whole broadcast and be able to, like, show something from a, such a unique perspective. I'm super excited about those possibilities. Check both ways. Uh, there's some kids over there. We'll stay over here. And then when we're all done, just bring it in and land on the landing pad. Boom. Simple as that. So, you know, this is a really silly example of live streaming here at the house, right? Because there's not that much to show off. And, and I, the other thing is, like, I wouldn't, like, race with this necessarily. The, the potential of being able to take this feed, pipe it through into the computer, and rebroadcast it for whatever purpose is super exciting. So I am really excited about that, and I hope you guys are too. So thanks for hanging out for this uh, little adventure. Um, it's been a blast kind of showing off some of the cool features of the uh, the DJI system, the DJI FPV air unit. Um, I think there's some real strong potential for stuff like this, and I can't wait to keep playing around with it and showing it off more and more. So thanks for hanging out, and uh, stay flying. I've been kind of messing around for a little bit um, after having filmed that. First of all, I can see that it's kind of weird. Like, there's a little bit of, like, whatever uh, playback resolution that is. Not resolution, um, but uh, whatever frame rate playback that is is not quite 60. So I'm going to keep working on, like, why there's something going on between the HDMI and the output on the... Um, on the screen. I know that the Elgato Cam Link supports this going up to... Uh, 60 FPS. So I don't know why it's not displaying 60 FPS, um, but I'll keep looking into that and addressing that. Like when I plug the HDMI straight into a TV, it plays back 60. So there's something going on between the controller and the computer, but it's something that should be able to be solved fairly easily. 
I assume. Um, and then some notes about the uh, settings in here. Um, if you go into this and you long press on HDMI, um, you get the uh, resolution outputs um, for HDMI resolution. I have it set to 1920, 1080 at uh, 60 FPS drop frame, so 59.94. Then for screen zoom, I leave it normal. For HDMI output mode, it pretty much has to be set to duplicate. Um, if you have either of the other two set up, actually the uh, it doesn't look like the um, it doesn't look like the FPV live will work uh, with anything but uh, duplicate set. So all that to say, I've had a lot of fun playing around with the smart controller, the HDMI out, and I think there's a ton of potential for it. Um, I still haven't quite figured out what's going on with my uh, CamLink 4K mic guess right now is that I might not have it plugged into a USB 3.0 part. It might be in a 2.0 part because I have a somewhat older case. So I'm going to continue to play around with that and I'll post an update maybe in a comment on this video uh, when I get it figured out. Um, so I'm pretty hopeful that it's relatively simple. I'm confident it has nothing to do with the HDMI out system for the DJI smart controller because when I play it on the TV it plays back at full uh, resolution. It's just that connection between the camera and the computer. So still experimenting with it. Really excited to play around with it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and have some good ideas on what to be doing with the, the future of what's possible with this and stay flying.